Hello class, in this video we're going to learn how to write thermochemical equations. In the previous video, I've explained that thermochemical equations are chemical equations that also give us the change in enthalpy that occurs during a reaction. The units for the change in enthalpy are often expressed in kilojoules per mole. In this video, we're going to learn how to write the thermochemical equations for the combustion of fuel from experimental values as well as from the heat of combustion values obtained in your data booklet. To write a thermochemical equation, the first thing that we should always do is write down the balanced chemical equation for the combustion of fuel. Typically, most questions often ask you to write the complete combustion equation. However, you should also be able to write down the equation for the incomplete combustion of fuel if you were ever asked as well. In this video, I won't teach you how to balance chemical equations because this should already be prior knowledge. After this step, we're going to calculate the number of moles of fuel reacting from the specified mass given from the question. Finally, we can calculate the change in enthalpy using mole ratios. I would like to add that the change in enthalpy should take on a negative value because the combustion of fuel is an exothermic process. Let's look at an example down below. It reads 3.1 grams of dodecane was burned in a plentiful supply of oxygen. 137 kilojoules of heat energy was released from this process and we want to write down the thermochemical equation for the complete combustion of dodecane. With all carbon-based compounds, combustion results in the formation of carbon dioxide gas and liquid water as standard laboratory conditions. The balanced chemical equation for the combustion of dodecane should look like this. In this equation, dodecane should be in the liquid state because it's a large hydrocarbon with a high boiling point compared to simple hydrocarbons. From here, I'm going to calculate the number of moles by dividing the mass with its molar mass, giving me an answer of 1.8235 times 10 to the power of negative 2 moles. This amount of moles over here releases 137 kilojoules of energy as stated by the question. To calculate the enthalpy, we need to take into consideration of the stoichiometric amounts of dodecane in the equation. This means that we need to find the energy released from 2 moles of dodecane. To do this, we can set up a ratio which relates the energy released or the heat of combustion with the moles and equate them together. The ratio on the left hand side relates the energy release from the number of moles burned during the combustion whereas the ratio on the right describes the amount of energy released from 2 moles of dodecane. From here, we need to solve for energy which is achieved by multiplying 2 to both sides of the equation and crunching these numbers on your calculator will give you an answer of 1.5 times 10 to the power of 4 kilojoules. This is the amount of energy released from combusting 2 moles of dodecane so we can write the change in enthalpy of the reaction as the negative value to this answer because it's an exothermic process. Hence, the change in enthalpy and your final thermochemical equation should look like this. I would now like you to practice solving a similar question. Pause the video now and resume the video again when you're ready to compare your answer. This question wants you to write down the thermochemical equation for the combustion of methanol. The chemical formula of methanol is CH3OH and if you wrote down your balanced chemical equation, you should have gotten this as your answer. The next step is for us to calculate the number of moles of methanol by dividing 0.24 with its molar mass, giving us an answer of 0.0075 moles. Using mole ratios, we can set up an equation to find the energy release from 2 moles of methanol as shown down below. From here, we need to solve for energy by multiplying by 2 to both sides of the equation and by inputting these values into the calculator, you should get an answer of 1.45 times 10 to the power of 2 kilojoules. To express this value over here as the enthalpy change of the reaction, we add a negative sign because combustion is an exothermic process and then we just need to add the units for the change in enthalpy, which is kilojoules per mole. As a result, the thermochemical equation for this reaction should look like this. In the next section of this video, I'm going to show you a different example where we're going to find the thermochemical equation using the heat of combustion values from the data booklet. In this example, we need to write the thermochemical equation for the complete combustion of octane. According to the data booklet, the physical state of octane when you're writing your chemical equation should be in the liquid state. The next thing for me to do is write a balanced chemical equation for the combustion of octane which should look like this. In the data booklet, it says that the combustion of 1 mole of octane releases 5,460 kilojoules of energy, but since our equation contains 2 moles of octane, we multiply the heat of combustion by 2 to find the change in enthalpy of the reaction. The negative sign was used because combustion is an exothermic process, and if you put this into the calculator, our answer is equal to negative 10,920 kilojoules per mole. 
Because we are writing the thermochemical equation, we should also write the enthalpy change alongside the balanced chemical equation. It's now your turn to solve a similar problem. Use a data booklet and see if you can write the thermochemical equation for the combustion of ethane. Pause the video and resume again when you're ready to compare your answer. According to the data booklet, ethane is a gas and your balanced chemical equation should also reflect this as well. Because we are interested in finding the energy released from 2 moles of ethane, we need to multiply the heat of combustion of ethane by 2, giving us an answer equal to negative 3120 kilojoules per mole. Similarly, your answer needs a negative value because this is an exothermic process. By now, you should be able to write the thermochemical equation for the combustion of fuel from both experimental values and using the heat of combustion from the data booklet. Thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you guys again in the next one. Bye.